between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See life's like a beach If you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Atari, Einstein Bagels, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Uh, like the founder of Noah Alper of Einstein Bagels, he talked about several previous businesses that were not successful and how he finally hit on Einstein Bagels to grow it. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, where entrepreneurs of six, seven, and eight figure businesses come together live and in person every few months to solve their biggest business challenges and leave with lifelong friendships. Check out Rise25.com, run by myself and co founder John Corcoran. It's application only. Today, I'm very excited. We have Jake Cloberdance, co founder and CEO of One Hope. It's a brand with a mission to serve the world, and they back it up, and I'll tell you what they do. The company started with an award-winning wine brand, OneHopeWine.com, and has since expanded into gourmet coffee and other gifts. They've gone from selling from zero to selling over 750,000 bottles a year since its inception. That's amazing, Jake. On, on the serving, the world side of things, One Hope has donated more than $2 million to date, helping to provide over 1.1 million meals to people in need, plant 56,000 trees, and much more. And as a side note, Jake was a two-time national champion in rugby at University of California, Berkeley, so don't mess. Thanks, Jake, for joining me. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it, bud. Jake, there's so much to cover from the challenges, the milestones, to distribution, to how you sold initially, um, but since we have limited time, I'm going to fast forward to today and what's working really well and um, for you is the Via One Hope. So I'd love for, to, for you to talk about that program and what's going on with that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, um, I'm really excited about Via One Hope. Um, you probably, if, if you, you checked into it, you kind of understand the model is really not so different than... Um, kind of uh, what you've seen with Mary Kay or Tupperware or Stella and Dot, these um, party planning models. Um, we refer to it as merit-based marketing. So mm-hmm. people who join this organization, um, they really um, make money and can make an impact based on a meritocracy, which I think is, was one of my most important learnings about the way that um, Cal Rugby ran and why we were a championship organization is it ran off a of meritocracy. Um, when I was a senior, I had freshmen nipping at my heels, and some of them were better athletes than me. And they saw playing time, you know, and they and um, they beat me out if they were better than me on a given week. And at the time, that's hard to swallow, you know, when you're a, a senior and you've been paying your dues for a long time. Right. You start to realize that championship organizations loyalty is important and it's celebrated, but um, meritocracy is even more important. Um, for keeping an organization um, present and around and, and uh, giving it edge. Right. And um, so we've, we've pulled a lot of that thinking uh, into Via One Hope, and the idea is to become a cause entrepreneur via One Hope. Um, so Via One Hope is our platform for empowering other people to go out and serve and celebrate, which is the mission of our brand, yeah. to empower people to serve and celebrate. Do you have a favorite story of someone who's used this in a certain way? Uh, yeah, actually, there's so many stories, and uh, picking an individual one out is kind of hard. There's, um, you know, there's a woman with us who has two children who are autistic, and um, she not only uh, makes an income via One Hope, but she also makes an impact by funding ABA therapy for children with autism. And wow. here to share That's her story awesome. and. Um, how One Hope is uh, such a part of her identity on a professional side, but also in the community, Pete, you can't help but get teary-eyed. Um, yeah. We have a woman who um, is in the Navy with us, and she does events at her base, and she raises money for um, lots of different causes, but um, she, you know, four of our, our different products go towards Team Rubicon, where we reunite veterans with a sense of purpose, by sending them out into natural disaster areas mm-hmm. with Rubicon. 
amazing organization. And when you have that direct of a connection of this cause entrepreneur who's actually serving in the military and she's empowering this organization by selling um, those products, um, it's, it's amazing. And, um, you know, the model is such that um, because we're not selling through retail or a restaurant, um, we're able to give the cause entrepreneurs um, commission for marketing the brand out there, but we're also able to give the person who hosts the event an additional 15% of um, the sales of our most popular items, a six pack, a 12 pack of wine, an extra 15% towards their local cause of choice. Mm. So you've got people all over the nation raising money for their breast cancer walk or their kid's school. And they post these stories up about how they raise money that is doing this for the school or is going to allow me to raise this much money for my breast cancer walk. And, yeah. and earlier this year, my grandma passed away from it or my aunt got it. Like all of these are touching. And we're realizing yeah. that it's not just us inspiring this community. It's this community inspiring us. Yeah. Um, and they're, they're cause entrepreneurs just like us. And they're, they're using a lot of what we built and the infrastructure we built over the years to um, to launch their business, but it's amazing to hear their stories and their personal journeys. Mm -hmm. And it reminds us of ours like nine years ago when we were just getting off the ground. Jake, I want to be the first one to thank you. I know um, this is holiday season right now. And so I promise you, I would not make this go too long, even though I'm tempted to make this go another two hours. Um, so where can we point people towards to check out um, I know onehopewine.com. Where else should they check out on the web if they want to, you know, check out your products or maybe check out Via One Hope? Yeah, so ViaOneHope.com if, if they're interested in Via One Hope. Mm -hmm. That's where you can become a cause entrepreneur with us and get a wine education, mm -hmm. be part of a fun community, make an income while making an impact via yeah. One Hope. Um, OneHopeWine.com, we set up a, um, a landing page actually for you guys. Yeah. Specifically and for all the people who follow um, everything that you're doing. So onehopewine.com slash inspired shows to a page um, that'll get them uh, a little bit of a special on uh, holiday gifts if they want to yeah. buy them. We have That's great. 50 unique different gifts. Um, and then, um, you know, you'll find us at uh, nationally at Whole Foods. We're launching a big uh, promotion with them at the beginning of the year this year wow. uh, towards ending world poverty and um, funding microloans with them in uh, developing nations for entrepreneurs that are getting started. Yeah. And um, a, a bunch of other places. We're in 8,000 restaurants and hotels and retailers across the nation. But via One Hope and onehopewine.com slash inspired uh, will make it easy. And um, I'm definitely going to have to come back and join you. I did note that if you have Bill Belichick on, Bill um, okay. Obama, Bill Knight, um, or uh, it, then, then you have to you have to bring me back on. <laughs> and was there another one besides Phil Knight? Um, the one that if I could bring somebody back, it'd be uh, Norman Borlaug. Um, he taught the world to feed itself, and I think that most people don't know his story. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, he's not with us mm. anymore, other than his the legacy of his work. So if I got to go back and I gotcha. and interview anybody, Norman Borlaug would probably be it. Mm. But I think right now my my list of three is Bill Belichick, Michelle Obama, and Phil Knight. All right. So if you could if you could hook that up, I mean, those <laughs> are pretty easy ask, don't you think? Yeah. Well, I'll uh, I'll keep you posted with that. <laughs> all <laughs> all big feats in itself. But um, Jake, thank you so much. I appreciate your time, especially around this busy time for you. Um, everyone should check out One Hope wine.com or via one hope um, which is via one hope.com and um, if you want to put backslash inspired in front of one hope wine.com you will get a discount um, so can i throw in one more thing before you close it out yeah you can throw in as many things as you want yeah um thank you for having me on um on behalf of myself and our team um every time we get to do something like this and spread the word about our our mission to serve and celebrate not only serve um you know, top uh, quality wines, um, gourmet coffee, our gifts, but also serve the community and the country while doing it and gathering people around celebration, whether they're celebrating themselves at the end of a hard day at work or they're celebrating around a wedding or like a, some big milestone in their life. Um, the people who give us a voice and to share us with their community, no matter how big or small, are the reason why you know a fairly grassroots organization that started with ten thousand dollars in the bank in 160 cases in a U-Haul truck loaded into a public storage unit 
become um, big successes and, and make it to where we are. And they're also the reason why we're going to go from where we are to where we're going. Right. And um, so I, I really do appreciate it. And I think you're a really good interviewer. You let me go and rant uh, uh, back and forth there. And uh, it's fun. It's fun to get to share our vision and our story with you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, Jake. And uh, happy holiday. And I really appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Talk to you soon, Jerry. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a peach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.